A child who is undergoing treatment for a life-threatening medical condition has so much of normal childhood taken away from them, so much of their decision-making uh, ability, so much of their normal experiences with playmates and friends and, and siblings. It is so long and so arduous. It robs so many of the normal childhood experiences um, from a child and from, from their family. run into a family that is uh, out of control with their life. Uh, they have circumstances imposed upon them that they never would have signed up for or dreamed that they would be in that position. There are medications that we can provide. There are treatments that we can administer. And yet there are pieces missing from that that can only be filled by the impact of a wish experience. The beauty of Make-A-Wish is it's incredibly simple. It is that intangible object that, quite honestly, I cannot order from the pharmacy. I cannot write a prescription for. You see a child before they go on their wish, and when they come back with their family after the wish, it's, it's often like seeing a totally different child. You just see it in their faces, this idea of thinking outside their current moment in time. It's an unsaid power that these experiences can give these kids. And you know, these are kids that are living longer. They're living better. They're having more fun in their life. And it all started with one experience, and that was their wish. My favorite wish is the next one. And the one after that. And the next 10. And the next 100. Because as with life, a wish has less to do with what has been and more to do with what's coming up.